All right, thanks for watching. And look at this limit. It looks hard, doesn't it? Well, today I want to show you that it's actually as easy as ABC, or shall I say, as easy as XYZ. Now, how can we solve this? Well, look at this x squared plus y squared plus z ter squared term. Well, what does that remind you of? Well, hopefully the sphere. It's very good. So in fact, let's use spherical coordinates to solve this. So what this becomes, this is the limit as, I'll write down the special numbers, but if you want to use spherical coordinates, x is just rho sine of phi cosine theta, y is rho sine of phi sine of theta, and z is just rho cosine phi. Look, this is actually much harder than the above, but you'll see it simplifies. And lastly, what is x squared plus y squared plus z squared? Well, it's the distance squared to the origin, so it's just rho squared. Now, the question is, what bounds do we put here? Well, here's the issue. So this is uh, 0, 0, 0, and this is, let's say, your point x, y, z. Now, rho, which is the radius or the rhodius, let's go on a rhodio, um, rho, the distance goes to zero. So that's not a problem. So it's the limit as rho goes, goes to zero. But then the question is, what about theta and phi? Well, theta, which is the horizontal angle, well, it could actually be anything because you could just circle uh, this point until you go to zero, so it actually oscillates between zero and two pi. So we can't really say anything. And what about the vertical angle, phi? Well, same issue here. You can start with x, y, z and kind of oscillate vertically like that till you go to zero, zero, zero. So phi could also be any angle between zero and pi. But what I want to show you is it actually doesn't matter what they're equal to because already from the fact that phi is zero, we can uh, conclude what this is. Because, let's simplify this a little bit. So this is the limit as rho goes to zero. Well, rho, rho, rho the boat. I'm on fire today. That's rho cubed. And then um, this becomes, let's say, two sines. So sine squared of phi. And then a cosine phi, and then cosine theta, sine theta, and this divided by rho squared. So then what we get, actually something pretty straightforward. So rho cubed divided by rho squared, that is rho. So basically what we get, we get rho times some junk. But this junk is actually bounded junk, so it should be something between uh, minus 1 and 1. So, in fact, what we get, this is between minus rho and rho. So, in particular, we can just use the squeeze theorem and conclude that this whole thing is 0. So this just equals 0 by the squeeze theorem. And then we're done. So you see, not bad at all. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.